What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we'll take a look at latest build of Android 12 which is Android 12 beta 3.1. Recently Google rolled out this build for Pixel devices and once again huge thanks to Jay for again coming up with the new port. And for installation guide I'll provide the video link in the description below. You can just watch that video to install Android 12 beta 3.1 on any of your OnePlus 8 devices. So first let's talk about the software information as you can see here. This is my OnePlus 8. Android version is Android 12. Android 12 beta 3 3.1 also comes with 5th July 2021 security patch. Google Play system update is of 1st August 2021. And build number says SPB 3.2106618.016. Basically, this build doesn't bring any kind of new additions. It was meant for few bug fixes. Talking about this update size of Android 12 beta 3.1, for my Pixel 4a size was 797 KB, and which is pretty small for Pixel 5 devices. The update size was around 2 MB. So here I think Google have done few fixes which were present on previous build of Android 12. But there are still some bugs to be noticed on this latest build of Android 12. Before moving ahead, let's talk about the benchmark results on this particular update. And as you all know, I'm running on my OnePlus 8. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 890 and multi core have scored 2973. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 670778. By checking out few reviews on YouTube about Android 12 beta 3.1, a lot of users have informed about performance bump on this latest build. As I've been using this build on my OnePlus 8 and I'll be using it as my daily driver for few days. Till now there are no issues to be seen when it comes to performance part. Though I'll be doing a dedicated gaming test on this particular build. If you haven't subscribed to a gaming channel, make sure to subscribe because I'll be soon updating lots of videos on custom ROM gaming test. All the basic functionality works fine on this build too like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, also Volti support have been added so there are no issues to be seen with hotspot. But as usual, don't expect things to be working like alert slider and fingerprint scanner on this particular build. Talking about camera on this build, by default we don't get any camera application, but I'll leave a link in the description below which is of Google camera. You can just download that APK and install it manually. And all the functions in that Google camera application works fine. As usual no issues to be seen with the sensors like accelerometer light proximity magnetometer compass and gyroscope though i'll be testing the gyroscope while gaming on android 12 we have this new gaming dashboard and huge thanks to google for adding this feature in future devices running android 12 will not require any kind of additional or third party fps metering app so this feature can be found inside the settings so whenever you launch any game You'll get this gaming icon soon you launch the game so here we have options like you can take a screenshot we have the option to record video or mean to say gameplay and then we also get this fps meter option here you can take a look at the fps and game optimization feature is still not been working on these builds of android 12 but hopefully it will be fully compatible in the upcoming builds of android 12 also we have this option of directly doing live streams as said i'll be doing a gaming test and will monitor the fps using this stock fps meter available on android 12 beta 3.1 till now battery backup seems to be decent overnight battery drain which i noticed was around 4% google have also done few improvements related to auto rotate accuracy in my previous video i had already mentioned about the new feature added which is enable face detection but this wasn't working that good on previous build but on this current build i did not see any kind of issues using this particular feature and it works way better compared to previous builds and there's a issue which i have been facing and that started from android 12 beta 3 which is related to the notification of miss call so if i'm getting a notification or any miss call i'm unable to remove this notification from the notification panel and this issue was present on previous build and continues to make its way through android 12 beta 3.1 If you guys are also facing this issue then do let me know in the comment section below. So guys this was a quick look on Android 12 beta 3.1. Installation guide can be found in the description below. If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.